Hi YouTube, this video is a remake of another video I had on my other channel and the reason I'm remaking it is because uh, sanctions have been filed against me uh, by Microsoft on my other channel um, because I supposedly uh, uploaded copyrighted material that infringed uh, the law. I don't understand why but I'm going to have to deal with it and remake all my videos and post them to this channel and hopefully I'll get somewhere with that. Um, so. The reason behind this video is to show you how to restore default um, file icons um, back to normal. Now, if you can see by these three icons, um, they're all represented by the notepad icon. But if I double click on them, uh, their specified programs open. So since this is FIFA 12, if I double click on it, FIFA 12 opens up. If I double click on VLC Media Player, this opens up. And the same for Windows Live Messenger. But why on earth is the notepad sign representing them? That's uh, a good question. I don't know, but I know how to get a, how to get around it and solve this problem. And this is and the vid this video will show you how to do that. Now the first step you have to do in order to solve this problem is hold Control, Shift, and Escape on your keyboard. This will open up your Windows Task Manager. Um, now. What you do next is you press on processes, and don't mind this because this is my recording program so it's not going to really affect anything. If you click on processes, the processes tab, which is right next to the applications tab, it will bring you to the list of processes that are uh, happening on your system, that are taking place. Um, if you press on E, it will take you to explorer.exe automatically, unless you have uh, another process that begins with E, uh, which will force you to... Uh, look for it for the .exe um, from the list. Anyway, I hope that made sense, but whatever. Anyway, press on file after, oh sorry, um, before you do that, you, you've got explorer.exe, you have to end this process. Now, when you end it, your icons on your desktop will disappear, your taskbar will disappear, so will your start menu, and you won't be able to see anything, except for the um, Windows Task Manager. Now, this is normal, don't get afraid, I'm not doing anything to, to harm your computer. Um, this will um, help you to solve your problem. Uh, you must do the step. Now, before, now after you've done this, sorry, press File, then New Task. Now, when you press that, you have to um, type in percent user profile percent, then backslash app data, which stands for application data, and then backslash local. Hit Enter, and you'll be navigated to this folder. Now, don't delete anything in this folder, but there's only one thing that is concerning all of us um, that we must delete. Now, if you scroll down to the very bottom, um, you won't see that file because you have to undergo another step before you see it. Now, users using Windows XP will have this uh, toolbar up here, um, uh, but if you don't, you have to press on your left Alt button on your keyboard to take you here. Press Tools, then Folder Options. It will take you to this uh, folder options um, window. Users uh, using Windows 7 and Vista can do the same thing unless um, they want to go um, take the easier way around it by clicking organize then folder and search options. Um, either way it doesn't matter. Now after you've done that click on view and after you've clicked on view on the view tab um, you have an option to hide hidden files and folders or to show them. Now you have to show them um, so you choose the second option uh, under that and apply OK. If you go back to the very bottom again, you'll see this file over here, iconcache.db. db represents a database file, and this file is um, ruining everything. It is the culprit. You have to get rid of this file because um, it contains all of uh, the data um, on your files um, in this in this file. So. What I mean by that is, every single file is in the database, and all the icons associated to it are in the database as well. So if one icon gets changed in the database, then your files are affected. And deleting this file would um, take your 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 uh, icon cache database back to its default uh, level. Now, if you hold Shift and delete, and enter, it will delete and um, nothing happens to your computer after that. It just re refreshes and restarts um, all of your 
um, icons and take them back to normal. If you go back to folder options again, you can um, back. Uh, you can press on this again. Uh, don't show hidden files and folders. Apply OK um, to sh to hide your hidden files and folders. Otherwise, you don't really need to. It's an optional step. If you press on the X button, and uh, you'll be taken back to the task manager. Now, if you press on File, New Task, um, and type in C uh, dot dot uh, backslash Windows backslash Explorer dot exe, it'll open up your desktop again, and uh, you will see that if you close uh, Windows Task Manager, that your files have been taken back to the default um, uh, icons. So, yeah, as you can see, I've closed Windows Task Manager, and um, there you go, our files are back to normal. If I double click on FIFA 12, it opens up. If I double click on um, VLC Media Player, it opens up, and the same for Windows Live Messenger. So, the problem is solved by following. Uh, so, if you follow my steps, um, it'll be, you'll be able to solve this problem very easily. Now, I hope this helped you. Please like um, my video, comment, um, subscribe. And uh, I hope you see my next videos. Um, until next time, bye.